Now with a kung fu grip, <laughs> it's rock under fire. Let's have a little fun. <laughs> dead air. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little thing I prepared here. I just want to read, man. Cause it's good. It's a good talk up to the to the intro before it goes into Pat going live <laughs> from the. What was the one that you were like the shit dick something uh, uh, the goddamn Finkelstein the shit goddamn, kid? Yeah, you don't know what movie that's from? It's Up in Smoke. It <laughs> was when Chong was mixing all the fucking. St- Bananas and shit like that. <laughs> Hell, I know a friend of mine. He works down in Columbia. He'll get you a job picking bananas with the Mexicans. <laughs> I'll send you to college with the goddamn Finkelstein shit, kid. <laughs> He's just fucking throwing all shit in the blender. Then it cuts into up in smoke. Put my glasses on. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Because this is radio. Because this is radio, radio, radio free. Radio. <laughs> this is radio free Fords. <laughs> radio free Fords. Radio free Europe. Yep. Radio free Woodbridge. What's up? Represent. Radio nowhere. Radio <laughs> nowhere. Is there anybody alive out there? Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna stand for this, man. Like I'm giving a speech. <laughs> In Oliver Stone's fun but flawed film about the doors, there's a scene where Ray Manzarek and Jim Morrison are walking on the beach, and they're talking about the big picture, the future. Why is my thing not registering on the, on the fucking, on the chart? What's going on here? Why? Oh, I guess I gotta turn my microphone on. That would yeah. work. The fuck, man. Hello, check. Oh, there I am. Let's try that again. Take two. I don't. This is rare where I read something. Okay. In Oliver Stone's fun but flawed film about the doors, there's a scene where Ray Manzarek and Jim Morrison are walking on the beach, and they're talking about the big picture, the future, and it was all the future. There was only a little over ten years of rock history behind them, and the boundaries and lines had not been crossed yet. He knew foreseeably that they could write the story, the big story. And he tells Jim Morrison, he says, Morrison, we need to make the myths. We need to create the myths. Well, here in this fucking 21st century of rock and roll invisibility, amidst the wasteland of shit and insignificance we find ourselves in, we're going to talk tonight about remaking the myths. All right, then I want to have, like, Pat's little thing there, and then we'll get into the music. (laughs) Who you, right. who you been talking to? You. That's a little thing. That's <laughs> oh, you, 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 oh, shut up. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even catch that. You did. <laughs> it's me being a jerk. You were, you were on the receiving end of that, so I mean I guess I I would get I would be bothered by that too. <laughs> Wait a sec. Especially So are, like a seventies rock even kind of thing? Like, you know, there are a lot of mm-hmm. boomers who they, they do that group. They, he's spot on about that sound yeah. being there. He, and I, 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 I would think you agree with it. I, I think it's like the singer. You know who he reminds me of is like, you know, like, like if, if Paul Rogers and Sammy Hagar had a baby. Yeah. Paul. But Hagar. on, but on steroids, <laughs> and he, had, and he, and he developed really like good. a steroid problem in high school or something. Like, so, okay, so Sammy That's Hagar gross. and Paul, <laughs> Paul Rogers have a baby, <laughs> and he becomes like a juice head in high school somewhere, and just, yeah. you know. And and you have rival sons. Okay. I, I love and I, and I mean that as a compliment. Okay. Because the, the he does have a, a powerful voice. Um, Lights out on the guitars. It's I mean, really, what do they call it? I mean, is it is it? I don't know what to call it. Just, it. Rock and roll, man. Yeah. yeah. It's really just rock and roll. Yeah. I never heard of them. <laughs> it's it just a very me, particular sound, though. I mean, it it, it, it kind of reminded me of Thermate, like I said. It's got like a Black Crows type feel to it, I think, too. Not as bluesy though. Mm-hmm. And, and the vocal isn't as high of a range as Chris Robinson, but it's just it's got some swagger behind it. It really does. It's what a seventies rock and roll. Yeah, record. and what yeah. I was mo- mo- most afraid of listening to it, and you know, I mean, Eddie Trunk has great taste in music, but he's Eddie. Eddie Trunk is more a metalhead than anything else, and I think he's very partial to metal. So I was afraid that it was going to have that really compressed guitar sound that you only hear in metal music, mm-hmm. which it doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's it's heavy. 
but I think it fits more into the 70s and and he's got a buzz than it does the 80s or 90s. He, he's got a buzz sound on his guitar. It reminds me of Tony Iommi. Mm. Tony had that like there was like that buzz. I don't know how the hell they do it. I'm yeah, a guitar player. But he has this buzz, like the second. It sounds like he just plugged in, and you hear that. Yeah. And when he's playing it, you kind of sludgy hear it. and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's really, it's fantastic. It really is good. Mm-hmm. Some editing on this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like the other day when you said she she texted me about this artist that we're I guess we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Um. And what did I do? I went this. I immediately went. Yeah. And streamed it. And yeah. At the end of the day, I had listened to both her. Yeah. Both two her albums. Yeah. And, and then you go on YouTube and see what, how she looks when she moves. Yeah. You know, that's the other thing is you can then go and look at videos. So, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining about it. It's great. I think Spotify is awesome. You know, I think uh, as you get older, you don't have time to I do like that shit. I like having every album you want at your fingertips. Yeah. Like at moments where, you know, like I said, Pat, check out Rival Sons, and he went and he checked out, you know, far more than I did, you know, and it, it, you got their entire collection right in front of you, you yeah. know. Yeah, so, or you get pissed because sometimes you're so spoiled. Like for the longest time, I was dying to listen to Pyromania from Def Leppard. It was just like mm-hmm. one of those things. I haven't listened to it in a long time. I'm like, oh, I got to listen to that again. I haven't listened to it in they're so long. Huge, they're huge fighters of the um, DRM. Yeah. Still not on iTunes either, I don't think. I think now they're on, they are on Spotify now. But they like, are. yeah, you get pissed. You're like, what the fuck? I well, want to listen to <laughs> <they're, they're, laughs> That's such an easy one. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. I it was them, the Who. Uh-huh. Um, obviously the Beatles because they made such a big deal when the Beatles finally came yeah. to iTunes. Yeah. Um, Believe it or not, Kid Rock was another one. <laughs> uh, maybe Bob Seger. Uh, there's a few. There's a handful, like a yeah. handful of heavy hitters because of the DRM laws. They were like, no, fuck that. We're yeah. going to get 30 cents on a dollar for yeah. our music. It's ridiculous. Can't disagree with them there. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned it was Def Leppard. Yeah, it's just one of those, like, you know, it's like, oh, it's a great recent, album. Recent inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, might I add? Yeah. Yes. It was just on Saturday. Have I remember one day a couple of years ago, I had this, like, really really like i just had this craving for pyromania yeah it's, just, it. it's like i didn't it's have it and i, I so used to have it on vinyl i got rid of it back in the 90s when i didn't think i'd be playing vinyl anymore and i haven't listened to def leppard like in 30 years every I mean, couple gave a crap years about def leppard i you know i don't even think i uttered the words def leppard <laughs> in, in 30 years and then three like it was like two or three years ago i remember i was just like man pyromania yeah like I, re- I was like and i went out and for whatever reason, um, I was in Target and I saw it for five dollars and I bought it <laughs> on, C- on CD. I was like, "Yeah, man, Pyromania, Stage Fright." Yeah, you know, yeah, I cranked Stage Fright. I just like skipped the first two songs. Yeah, <laughs> Photograph and Rock Rock, whatever Rock Rock. Until you drop, drop. yeah. So I went straight to Stage Fright. That was yeah. That and uh, what's the first one? The one before that, High and Dry. That's a great That's one. That's a fucking that great on, album. That I have on like those two. But uh, yeah, I was kind of in that mood to listen to them, and I was like, fuck. What do you call it? Change. The, the, what, uh, what was the one, the, the, their first record back when he lost his arm? What's Alan lost his arm? Oh, was it Hysteria it was, it or was something? In yeah. Pyromania and Hysteria. Rock and roll. Yeah. A little bit there. That took a hair metal band i guess if you want to say that they were a rock and roll no, band they were like oh what? Uh, let's just i think they band. turned yeah. i think well, they, they turned into out. a hair metal band yeah because they uh, started they out as they got they got like they didn't even turn into a hair metal band they just they turned went, into a they pop they went pop band. they went like pop they, they rock they did what van halen did and went even not even van halen they i mean like for kids in new jersey and iraq z's to be listening to that fucking def leppard record it ruined that band for me for a yeah. degree yeah hysteria was horrible they, heads and shit like yeah. that yeah they know, started as a new people. wave of british heavy metal band yeah. with priests you know they were yeah. like part of that whole crew right so they had that that distinct you know i mean new wave <sighs> british heavy uh, i can't yeah, talk they're but they're yeah like tesla Huh? I think they were like Tesla. Yeah. Tesla was, uh, you didn't know how to categorize them. Yeah, it's kind I don't of their know own thing. Yeah. with hysteria. It's just like it, we waited for it. I mean, I, I, you know, admittedly, I loved High and Dry. I loved Pyromania. So we wait, as, you know, as Def Leppard fans, we waited for hysteria for three years. The guy lost his arm. Okay, they're going to continue <laughs> with fucking Rick Allen and his one arm, and they're going to do whatever they do. Yeah. Okay. Hysteria comes out. What the fuck is this shit? Well, let me what stop is this? For one second again, because the first song that was released off of that was Rocket. Yeah. Like, Women. Oh, really? Women? Yeah. 
Women. You sure? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rocket was Rocket. huge, though. I thought it was Rocket. No, it's Rocket. It's Rocket. Was it? Yeah. I thought yeah. that was like one of the last one. Okay. No, no, no. It was Rocket. It, was Rocket. it didn't do very well. They were scared that the record was going to flop because Rocket didn't go crazy. That's okay. The one we were talking about, yeah. Like all the British rock bands and shit like that. In the song, yeah. yeah. It talks about like uh, T Rex and then yeah, Satellite of Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they were scared, but that that song I actually like a lot on yeah. the record. Mm. And then they pour went, some it, sugar on me. Yeah, then it, it went was in a completely yeah. different direction. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, that was a. It's kind of like your argument about how Motley Crue went to Lavender. You know what I mean? The, yeah, it, it, it's kind of that turn and, where and kind I of a band. To say it, you know, because look, I give all the credit in the world to Rick Allen. Past you know, Rock. You just take. Yeah. You just, just. I mean, you know, I was watching on the the fucking. What are you, HBO, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. and they were giving him an applause. I stood up and I fucking applauded myself in front of my <laughs> TV, man. I swear to God, I did. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, man, fucking Rick Allen, man. You, you know, the majority of their music, I can't stand. Yeah. But Pyromania and High and Dry, and the fact albums. that this, this band carried on, man, in the face of what happened to him. Yeah. Not only him, they've lost uh, uh, the other guy to alcohol. Yeah. You know, he yeah. Alcohol but consequently, basically. man, I think that that's the reason for that sound it was that that electronic drum electronic kit drum that they made and that kind of Maybe. became the sound the future sound of 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 Def Leppard unfortunately yeah. cut the balls off but it's also thing. getting a bigger record deal record yeah. labels and better production you that know that changes it that was huge yeah they toured probably for fucking three years on that record. and they had seven singles seven yeah. hits off yeah. it. it was at that period in the record. 80s where yeah. everybody was just like pulling singles like crazy and they were trying to milk albums for as long as they could go and i mean as many singles as they could get i just yeah. remember seven. suicide heights guys in tank tops with big muscles and caprizi fucking pants listening to that record. yeah i was just like that's not see that's why i, I thought women was the first single because i remember being in wildwood that summer and it was the, the album was coming out in two months and they were like here's women i remember hearing it on the boardwalk yeah. and i don't know i could i could have sworn it was but whatever it was like either way i hated it yeah you know? and yeah like, like i mean pour some sugar on me you go into every uh, bar it's always got to be sung it's always gonna be like karaoke yeah it's like i hate it's like one of the i don't know it's just my opinion i know people like it you guys might like it i don't know no 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 it's just the worst in everything about the 80s. It's just like every yeah. worst, of, the worst of every 80s trend. It gives me weird feelings. Yeah. It makes me feel <laughs> weird. <laughs> I don't know. There's something uh, nostalgic, but a bad nostalgia that's uh, <laughs> yeah. associated with it. Even the trolls come out. The trolls <laughs> come out. Us. We need trolls. Offend me. <laughs> <laughs> There are people out there listening to us. They're yeah. listening. They hear your voice, Marissa. I know. Say hey. Tell me. Say what's up. They know who they are. We love them. Yeah. Gas up the car. 